Hey guys, it's Deb Rayleigh with the Social Tech Team, and for today's tip, I wanted to show you a little hack that you can try if you find that there is a video that is sitting inside a closed Facebook group that you think, gosh, this is a great training or a great tutorial, and I wish I could somehow share it outside of the closed group. So I'm going to show you exactly how you go about doing that. But first, I think it's important to mention, you should always have the permission of whomever created the video to make sure that it is okay with them that it is being distributed or shared outside of that group. That's super important. Okay, so let's get started and I will show you the, the steps. There's a couple of steps that you'll need to take from a desktop computer to be able to use a video that's in a closed group and be able to upload and add it somewhere else. You ready? All right, let's get started. Okay, this video that you're seeing right here, this is sitting inside our closed group, which is the Social Tech Academy. And gosh, if you're not in that group, this is where we unpack all of our tips and, uh, and tricks and give you all the content and stuff, so you wanna check that out. Anyway, um, when the video, when you wanna share it, first you're going to need to play the video. So let's get started. Okay, so I've started it, and I've played it, and I've paused it. Now I'm going to right-click on the video, and I'll select Show the Video URL. So there we go. There, right up here at the top, is a little video URL. I'm going to copy this. Again, I'm going to highlight it, right-click, Copy. And now I'm going to open up a new web browsing bar. Okay? Just stay with me. All right, so in the new web browsing bar, I'm gonna paste that URL, but before I do anything else, do you see right up here at the top where it says www? I'm gonna highlight that, and I'm going to replace that with M, as in Michael, basic, B-A-S-I-C, M-B-A-S-I-C. Okay, don't confuse this with just an M. It needs to say M basic. So instead of the www, I put M basic, dot whoops dot facebook.com and all of that other stuff all right so i've left the pasted url and the only thing i've changed is the www now if i click enter on my keyboard it shows the video but it shows it in a little bit of a funky way because not only is it the mobile version but it is a mobile stripped down basic version of that video all right so i'm going to select play again and then pause on the video Thanks for okay, so I've selected play, and now you'll see it takes out all the extra around there. It's just playing the video, and now I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say Save Video As. So when I do that, my little box pops up, and I'm going to name this video, whatever I'm going to call it, Test Video Save. And you'll notice it automatically is going to save it to your computer as an MP4 video. So it's going to start looking like this is a native video uh, that you've created on your computer. So I'm going to say save video right there. So now it's saved it. It's downloaded it on my computer. All right. So now all I need to do is I will need to upload it wherever it is I want to upload it. So I could upload it to YouTube and then I'll have a shareable link that I could use. I can upload it onto my business page. I could upload it onto my personal profile. I could put it in another group. It doesn't matter where you put it because it is now a native file on your computer. Again, make sure that if you're not the originator of the video that you have the explicit permission from the creator to be able to share it in this way. All right, um, I would caution you to not take videos from public places, business pages, YouTubes, um, without permission and download it and then upload it because the best thing you can do for the creator is share it from the source which would be to share it from their business page, a public business page, or their YouTube channel. Share it from the source because that does help their uh, algorithmic traffic activity and it gives them all of the, uh, the credit for the creation and the content. So um, again, if this is in a private group and you have permission to share it in this way, uh, this is how you would do it. If you do not have permission, don't, don't do it. And uh, if it's on a public place, share from the public source. All right, so now when I go back into Facebook, 
into my original looking Facebook. I'm going to go to uh, Deb's test group so you can see. All right, and here I would just add this as a video. And I called that, what did I call that? Test video. So there we are, test video save. And I can say whatever I need to say about this. And it will take a second for it to upload into Facebook, but then you just click on, you click post, and that's how you do it. All right, so there you go, everyone. I hope that helps and uh, gives you some encouragement. You guys can do these things. Um, and just, but no, for this one, you have to do it from a desktop computer and uh, give it a try. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.